All right, question three, Christina considers a different option. The dealership offers 0% down and 0% APR for two years. The car will be worth $17,629 in two years. Okay, so a little more than three years, so it makes sense that it was worth more in two years. Uh, what will be the monthly payments under these conditions? How much will the total cost of the car be if Christina takes this loan? All right, uh, which loan should she take? All right, so um, several things here um, is that Basically, you have 0% interest, 0% down. Uh, it's almost like you have cash for the car. You're, you're buying the car outright. Okay, They're not making any interest money off you. Um, so you're just buying it, just buying it slower, Okay, w which, is, which is good. But the car still depreciates, so you're still going to lose because you bought a losing investment. You bought a car. All right, so that's the big deal here, and I think it's a very important lesson because um, as a young adult, you know, going to college or going to the military with a paycheck or even just going to the, to the, the uh, working field, um, you know, a lot of young people want to buy cars. And um, this is, I'm trying to show you, like, what kind of mistake this is because it doesn't make you money and see what you're getting into when you're buying a car. All right, so... Um, let's consider these these options here. All right, so uh, basically what's going to happen is we're going to have a future value of uh, 23000 um, $599. All right, so that's the, base, the cost of the car. All right, our interest rate is going to be 0%. And then our compound big N is going to be uh, 12 times 2, which is 24 months. All right, so if you do these calculations, you're going to get pretty close to the cost price of the car. Um, all right, so what would be the, uh, the uh, monthly payment on this? All right, so we're going to put that into our... Um, our calculator and basically all it is is that we're just going to divide um, 23,599 by um, uh, 24 okay so our payment is going to be um, $983.29 so payment equals $983.29 I don't know what I said earlier, probably said different numbers, but there it is. All right, so that's our payment. Okay, um, so now it'll be around there. If you use the calculator, it might be a few cents off, um, but that's essentially what we're doing. Um, so if you look at the total cost of this loan here, um, again, so we're just buying the car straight out. So $23,599, all right? Um, so we're gonna subtract the depreciation. Okay, so again, the 0% interest, we're not doing anything extra, we didn't put no down payment, so price of the car, um, minus the 17,000 uh, that it's worth. All right, and this loan's gonna end up costing us $5,970. All right, so almost $6,000. So much cheaper as a total cost to us um, than the other loan option where we put a down payment, we did it for three years, okay, and as you can see, that extra year uh, with interest cost us some money, uh, 11000 versus 6000 All right, so which loan should Christina you know, take? Well, again, it's situational. So um, if you have the money, you can afford almost a $1,000 payment a month, then it's kind of a no-brainer. You'll do this one and... Um, you pay off the car relatively soon and not have such a big hit as far as uh, depreciation and losing money. Um, however, a lot of people can't do that. So if you're like living check to check and you need a ride and you can't afford a thousand dollar payment, um, you're going to go with a six hundred and forty six um, uh, dollar payment option. You know, it's more doable for you. And, you know, trust me, dealerships will go off that. They'll lower your payments and say, hey, look, this is all you got to pay. But you got to remember your interest rate, the car going down, they'll increase the number of months you pay. Um, and all that stuff starts adding up as the total cost gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So as you can see, more compound, 11000 less compound, 6000 So um, what would be the best ideal situation? Uh, just buy the car right off. That's it. You know, you own the car. 
Okay, so you can buy it, drive it for a year, take that depreciation, still a loss, but you can sell it, get a lot of money out of it. Uh, well, not a lot of money, but more money than you would. Uh, but, you know, again, it's exponential. It's an exponential that goes downward. Okay, so it's going to decrease the most right away. And then it's going to totally taper off um, into an asymptote the older and older it gets, you know, until it's just not worth anything. Okay.